On wait. Oh god. Yeah, Reese. Oh my god. Yeah. We did it, gang. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reese Rulin from the Pros Closet. I am out here in Fruta, Colorado. Uh, I'm at the Cocapelli Trail. I'm gonna be learning some skill work with Tina Uli. You know, I have no patience whatsoever, and I wanna be on like the fast track, and I also know nothing about skill work with mountain biking, and I hear it's very important. So I'm working with a coach to kind of help me with some key things to work on in mountain biking that are some of the most essential things, such as ratcheting your cranks up over something, going up over obstacles on an uphill, just balance over the bike as you ride. Because right now I basically just wing it. I just kind of hope that my bike has more uh, knowledge of the terrain than I do and I put full faith in my suspension. So we're going to try to learn some skills that I can work on on my own back home in Fort Collins. The first thing that I always start with with our teaching is stance and balance over the bike. Yep. The way we stand and the way we balance over our bike is how we get traction in the front or the back of the bike, depending on what the terrain is like, right. right? So the things we're gonna start with are stance and balance that require us, because we're not climbing, these are maneuvers that we're gonna be using when we're coasting, yep. right? So we have to have some speed, stand up with level pedals. Yep. We always have a slight bend in our arms, even in our neutral position, and always have a slight bend in our legs. And then when we get into that athletic position or the attack position, we get a lot lower over the bike. The elbows get a little bit wider, the knees widen up because we want the bike to have room to fluidly move underneath us. And we're not white knuckling. We're not white knuckling, right? Like you're guiding your bike. So if you're white knuckling, you're also putting an awful lot of weight into your hands. This is why my hands always hurt and I and have. So, <laughs> yeah, you want your weight rooted in your feet, always on yep. your bike. Your feet are more of a driver than you realize when yeah. you ride. If you ride behind me, yeah. you'll see that I am really playful. I do a lot of maneuvering of my bike with my feet, shifting yep. weight, right? With this like, think of your feet like a scale, Yeah. right? So if your bike is like, oh, it's starting to tip. Well, we know we want to put a little bit more weight into this other foot to bring it back in balance. Right? Yep. So you want to think about your foot like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So we're first just going to go with the neutral and the ready position. So again, make sure you have a good peak here that you can kind of get some traction on. Oh, yeah. So your feet can be lowered. Have it lowered. Right? Yeah. So again, go, 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 go. <laughs> some people call neutral a ready position. Okay. Really just kind of... My worst habit yeah. oh. is I stuff my chin, my eyes and head yeah. go down, and then I scan the trail like this. Yeah. You really want to be like leading. I have to like, like channel this. my horseback riding yes. background. Shoulders behind the. Yeah. This really translates. If you have horseback riding, oh, that's all I did. Yeah. This will really translate. Yeah, well that's all that. I used to do. Okay, so then. Two point position. The next thing we're going to do is this four and a half of our bike, yep. right? And when we use this is, again, sometimes we're in rocky terrain where there's like one little scoopy rock that wants to kind of tell you your, your bike's gonna stop. Yeah. And that's when we just say, nope, and we kind of give our bike a little push forward and say, yep. you're not stopping me, rock, I'm gonna keep yep. going. The more comfortable you can be with telling your bike to lead yep. and telling it to, stay right under you, yep. the better off you're going to be. Okay. And then the final one here is side to side. Okay. Right? Some people say it's like drawing a bow and arrow. Yep. Some people say it's like windshield wipers, but like it's this side to side. And so oftentimes when we're first learning skills, it's really easy to have your torso be looking like this. Like you're moving your whole torso. I'm normally like rigid, breadstick, <laughs> terrified, <laughs> freaking, I'm just stiff. So what I want you to think yeah. about when you move your bike forward and forward and back and side to side yep. is you're in that attack position. Yep. You're thinking about like a flat back, Ooh, yeah. hinge at your hips, yep. 
chest is open, yep. right? And your and arms and up. legs yeah. are the things that are doing the moving. Your torso is staying stable. Engaged core, stable torso, flat back. The arms do yeah. the work. Your the rest of you stays the tennis ball. in the middle, right? Yeah, I need a basketball. So right it now. looks like this. I'll show you and yeah. then you come in behind me. We'll get some speed. Lots of Either push the bike out or move your weight back, right? Yeah. But you have to like get the balance back in terms of like yep. equal pressure in your tires, yep. right? Balancing that yeah. bike. I think about. Um, I gotta do the straight back. That's gonna be my. Yeah, the flat back is really. Especially as like a road helpful. rider, you're just always hunched, arms are closed. Yeah. It's just like I'm. I'm normally this. And that's and, like T-Rexy oh, yeah, on I mean, a mountain bike, yeah. right? You, you need to, you and need this is to when I go more, over. You need to just create room for this like we got dance a that you and your bike do. It's really ballet. Like I feel like it really is. It totally is. Hundred percent. Okay, this is good. Okay, I feel I'm feeling okay. The first one is what we call like a traditional wheel lift. Yep. This is one that you can use when you're coasting or when you have like space to get good momentum and you can be level pedals for a second to make a move. It's what you were talking about, like that pressing yeah. in. Yeah. And then, so you understand your suspension a bit, right? Yep. Like yep. when you compress your suspension, there's this natural rebound that happens, yep. right? And so when we're talking about a traditional wheel lift, it does have to be done, as I said, with momentum because you need to be able to stand up level pedals, press your bike down and give it the lift. So yeah, as you, you start use, utilizing these tools on the trail, yeah. you're gonna start to learn like, that wasn't actually a good place for me to use the traditional because when I stood with level pedals and made my press, my bike ran out of gas that's, and that that's didn't That's what work. I'm so afraid of is like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna like high, yeah, I'm gonna like high side on like my crank over something and I'm gonna just stop and then tip. You'll learn to trust, you just have to trust it yeah. for sure. Um, but these are also tools that like timing yeah. is a huge That's... piece and it's not, I can't teach you timing. The only yeah. thing that teaches you timing yeah. is like scanning the trail, making plans of what tools you're gonna use and yeah. then trying to use them. And if yeah. it doesn't work, then saying, okay, maybe I was going too slow, maybe I was going too fast. And then you're gonna start being able to like, yeah. I know exactly what I did wrong. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try it again. And I'm gonna try to fix that thing, yeah. right? That's that's the other part is like, I call Fimage, which is fear of image. And there's like a 12 year old that's like yeah. hucking it. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> And we talked about that in the yeah. podcast, right? Like the comparing piece it's, is so hard because you don't know that person's story. Yeah. Right? Oh my God. You yeah. do not know that person's story. You have no idea <laughs> yeah. what their, how their brain works. And so to right out of the gate, be like looking at all the other people around yeah. you and deciding that they're, you're lesser because yeah. they're doing it is like such a yeah. load of crap. This is good therapy for me. <laughs> yeah. What's so your I'm, hourly? <laughs> So I'm gonna come towards you okay. and I'm gonna show you this wheel lift. Okay. And then this is one that we're just like, I can draw a line in the gravel and you're yeah. gonna try to plan the timing of your lift around the line. And then yeah. the line is gonna turn from a line to a rock and then from a rock to a bigger curb or something yeah. like that, right? And so it's the front wheel, not this the This is a traditional front wheel lift. And if even you're gonna press your feet. Okay. So what you should notice, Reese, is like my chest yep. and torso are not moving. I'm pressing through my feet and my hands. Yep. So to first start, I just have people like bounce on their bike. Look at your suspension and then look at I mine. I know, it's just, I like it soft. I know, my suspension is not that. One, two, three. Look at mine, Reese. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, One, we're getting... two, three. Perfect. Mine, you got it. Right. Okay. You are totally capable yeah. of trying to pick your bike up over a ledge that is about this big. Oh my God, there's no, with that move. With what you just showed me you could do. But do I, okay, so when I like am lift, so I'm coming towards the wall yep. of death. So I'm coming towards, I do one, two, three, like whatever, and I lift up. 
and then I'm hovering. So now your front wheel is up. Yeah. Right? And the one, two, three is just for us to practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're on trail, you're just giving one press and pulling. And then, or but do like I lifting? Do I like float on my pedals as I do this, or do I need to like give it a so the when back? we're on trail and we're using it? The next step would be once the front wheel is up. Yeah. Because we always have to un think about unweighting the wheel that we need to lift. It would make no sense for me to like have all my weight in the front and then expect my wheel to come up. I gotta load it. Yeah, you'll knock your teeth out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so same with the back. So once I like bring my front wheel up, then I tilt my weight forward so my back wheel can come up. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, my heels up. And that one, because you're on clipless pedals, will be easier for Yeah, I've definitely done that. Do, and we don't need to yeah. focus on that one today, but it's more about front wheel Yep. Because you can't leave the back of your bike down there. You got to make sure it comes with you. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. Okay. Is for those really steep uphills. Oh, those are my nightmares. That those are then my, like, have like nemesis. this root. Yeah. Or step up or something into it. And this is a pedal actuated. Yes. This is wheel what I'm left. concerned with. Yeah. Okay. And so what i like for folks to do for the teaching of this is get into one of your easiest gears do you know about ratchets the this or uh, on our punch like quarter oh, punch you know yeah, yeah yeah so i i like to teach like our pedal rotation is a pie yep and anyone that knows tina knows that no pie should be cut into eight pieces yeah Pies should be cut into four pieces because <laughs> girls like pie. Yes. Everyone likes pie. Everyone. Okay. So we're going to think about our pedal stroke, and I'm going backwards, like um, a pie yep. in quarters, right? Yep. And so our pedal punch wheel lift, it's a quarter punch that starts from, now depending on what your power foot is, when you get on your bike, what's your first foot? My, okay. that's always my right. So from your right, your, your pedal needs to be in a one o'clock position for a pedal okay. punch. So right now we're going to do it on the non-drive train. So pull that pedal to the 11 o'clock position. Oh, okay. Cool. And now, once your pedal is in that 11 o'clock position, you're going to yep. put your inside foot on it. This yep. is just for a demonstration. Yep. Okay. Now you're going to hold your handlebars, fingers hovering over the brakes, yep. as if you're like ready to receive your bike. Yep. And when I can, when I say go, you are going to break the stick with your foot, so you're going to kind of go boom and yep. give like a half punch. So you're going to push your pedal from the top to the bottom yep. really hard, and you're going to be ready to receive your bike. I'm going to see what One, happens. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Oh man, so see that? Okay, so, so your wheel came up, and then yeah. So I shouldn't is. try to like keep it forward. Nope, you just okay. want to feel that pop that okay. happens because of yeah. your foot. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna hop on our bikes. Okay. So my word track that my friend Amy taught me is pedal, pause, punch. Okay. Some folks don't like the punch. Yeah. Because. They're, they get afraid that people are, their bikes yeah. come too far up in their face, but that's what I use. Okay. Always your fingers are have hovering over your brakes anytime you're getting a wheel, your front wheel in the air. Yeah. If your front wheel, you feel like it's too high. Yeah. You feel like you're going to loop out. Yeah. If you just tap your back brake, it will put your front wheel down. Oh, okay. So wow. always hovering over the okay. back brake on these. Okay. Remember everyone, this oh. is your back brake on your right side. This is your front brake. This does not <laughs> back, just seal it <laughs> in your head. Back brake. Okay, so this is an uphill maneuver. Okay. So we're imagining that we're like slogging, pedaling very slowly up this yep. hill. We're in our easiest gear and we have this little step up. Yep. So when we're on flat ground, we're gonna start pedaling in our easy gear. We're gonna stay in our seat. This okay. is a climbing position. Put your seat high if it yep. isn't. Climbing position. So we pedal. Yep. We pause. When we pause, yep. we grab our brake, we pull our power foot to the one o'clock position, yep. and then we punch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you just did it! Did you see it?
my god. Okay, now I understand the feeling. Okay, I won't die. Okay, this is helpful. Okay. That's awesome. You've got you've got the basics. Okay. I say it's time for us to hit the trail and yeah. put these to work because the timing is the piece yeah. that will cause more frustration yes. with just like getting it right. Now yeah. you have the tool. Now yeah. we want to teach you how to like quickly grab it and use it on the trail. <laughs> Katana. <laughs> cool. Nice. We're awesome. gonna roll. Let's go. Low. Oh, Jesus Christ. You got it? <laughs> How did that feel? Good. That felt good right there. Normally I wouldn't be okay with that. Yep. And now we're just going to like, yep. we're, we're on a ride together. Yep. You're using your tools. Yep. You're trying to have as much finesse as possible. Yep. I want to hear you shout like, woohoo, when it feels yeah. really good okay. and you feel like you nailed it. Yep. And I want to hear you say whatever you feel like if you're like yeah. i could have done that better okay. okay right yeah you'll hear oh shit from me jesus christ <laughs> shit okay i hate this That's so cool. Riley, you got it.